What's up, people? Focus. Yes, good. So, I'm Mac, and I'm back with another video for you guys. So today I'm gonna talk about filling up space, part two. Or maybe just, you know, drawing stuff and not worry about what the fuck it's supposed to mean, filling up space, not filling up space. Who cares, really? I might draw on black paper today. I might draw on white paper. But I have these little things. These are nifty little, handy little things that I use. They're dollar pointer stick, 0.3 mm. And they are so fucking handy for doing line work. I'm gonna show you an example right now. This whole set cost me like, what, 350? Taka, which is like what uh, two and a half sorry uh, four and a half dollars yep yeah. even though the brand's name is dollar like what the fuck anyway so uh, yeah let's do this I'm gonna start off with a circle as I always do I love circles for some reason I don't know why, but I just love fucking circles. And most of my drawings are done within circles. Why, you might ask? I don't know the answer to that. Don't ask me stupid shit. Don't ask me stuff I don't know about. It's weird. Anyway. See, I fucked up there, but that's an easy fix. Because... See, in art, if you fuck up, small things like this, you can always have a correction pen that you can use. And I got this for like really cheap, but it's like, it has a very, very sharp point. Let's see, this is just gonna help me with uh, small details. So yeah. Now the pointer sticks, or whatever they're called, I'm gonna use some aquatic colors over here. Then I'm gonna use yellow and maybe red and brown. Okay, it's really important to choose your colors. It's really important that all the colors that you choose go together, right? So anyway, first of all, <clears throat> the C. What does the C look like? It's deepest in the bottom. So I'm gonna use the deepest color for the bottom, of course. So let's do this. Let's try to make something really satisfying and cute and aesthetic and all that bullshit. So, yeah. I <laughs> get it? That's a pun. Let's see. Anyway, I'm gonna stop being stupid. And start being artistic. Or autistic. However you see it. However you see me. Anyway, done with the first layer. After that, I'm gonna go with the second layer with this color. See, we're continuing the C. Okay, sorry, that was my mom. Yeah, you didn't have to see that because I cut it out. Anyway, hmm. So, as I was, huh, ruined my whole zen. But anyway, positive vibes, right? Positive vibes. How are we doing this? How am I doing this? Um, I'm gonna add another little thingy here. A little wavy here. A little thingy here. You see I use the circles to create a wave on top of it. And now the lightest color. 
So the lightest color goes here, right? Um, let's say I do a bit of this, a bit of this, a tiny bit of this, a dab of this, some of this, a bit of this, a bit of that, and we are done people we are done with the waves i think i'm gonna add something over here i don't know what okay maybe this maybe this and maybe uh something over here Keep it consistent. Right. Join it up here. Yeah, whatever, done. Okay, so after we're done with the wings, that look quite satisfying, right? If I say so myself, uh, which I do say so myself, I'm gonna do one thing, which is fill it up. Now that I'm done with the wings, I'm gonna do this. This is this is one of the main parts of my drawing style, which is I like doing this, these little thingies. So I'm gonna use the colors I used for the outline to fill out the insides like this. So every wave has its own linear direction of sorts. It's not really linear, these are curves but whatever you know you get the point they have a direction they have a way they are flowing right it's nature everything in nature has curves everything in nature has curves nature is never linear nature is never straight nature is never flawless the best thing about nature is that it's not flawless the best thing about nature is that it's not one way or another it's never sure of where it's going it's always unpredictable just like life Life is unpredictable. No one predicted this corona thing, right? No one knew we would be facing the new pandemic like in fucking 2020. 2019 was fucking bad enough. No one knew 2020 was gonna be worse. So yeah, I mean 2020 was going pretty fucking good at first, but now it's not. So yeah, who knew, right? But as I was saying, I got uh, distracted, I'm sorry, lost track, uh, yeah. So as I was saying, nature is much like life, it's unpredictable. And that's one of the best parts of it. So why not make the unpredictableness of life one of its best part? And sometimes just go with the flow like the waves are, you know? The waves always go with the flow and they end up in one place where they need to be. Now that place might be a place of destruction where it ends up destroying whole cities, whole villages, or that place just might be ending up in nothing adding no value, but sometimes that place ends up being the very reason the earth works, the very reason fishes can go along with the waves and find their food, the very reason we can all live on this planet which is 
70% fucking water. There's a reason for that, you know? So without the oceans, if we could just stop fucking polluting the oceans with plastic and stuff, <laughs> you know? But like, yeah, <clears throat> without the oceans, we'd be nothing, honestly. The Earth wouldn't work, planet Earth would not work out. So anyway, as I was saying, okay, you know what? I'm gonna pause the video for a sec. Cause, uh, there's background noise. Let me just fix that. Okay, the background noise is gone. Taken care of. You know, in life, there needs to be some background noise. But not while I'm fucking recording. Thank you very much, Mom. She was watching a YouTube video. Right beside my door. I'm like, bro, you have your own room. <laughs> Go to your room, please. Let me just do my thing here. And then you can watch it wherever you want. I'm paying rent for the house. This is my house, my rules. Like, come on, mom. I'm the one who opened you a YouTube channel. I'm the one who got to your first phone. So, uh, please respect my time. Okay, anyway. Uh, whatever. I love my mom, she's amazing, she's an amazing lady. She does so much for me and the whole family. Oh. So yeah, you could say the ocean is Earth's mother nurturing it. Water nurtures nature. And that's why I love drawing water, drawing waves, it's quite satisfying, honestly. In line work is really easy when you know how to do it, like I'm just going with the direction of the wave, you see, like, this is going here, the next one's gonna go here, follow it, follow it, follow it follow through and I'm gonna show you a practice to do on the side here which is draw a circle right I'm gonna zoom into this draw a circle or a dot or whatever just do this do this do this do this do this do this in all directions just try to keep straight lines in all directions and that's going to help you with your line work a lot. Just try to keep straight directions. Either go this way or this way or this way or this way. Just straight, 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 straight. Right? I mean, I know these aren't completely straight, but you get the point. As straight as possible. Also, another thing circles. Draw tiny circles. Draw tiny circles. Draw tiny circles one beside another, keep drawing them until you fill up the whole page. Another thing, which is hashes. Hatches and cross hatches. And try to keep them all straight. So cross hatching is a technique to either get shape to a drawing when you're using pen and paper or you know anything like let me show you an example over here let's say this okay no let's say this is a box right there's a light source here and I'm gonna where the shading is. See, it's pretty easy to see that the shading is there, but it's not all like this. There's more shade over here than there is 
maybe over there. So going to just add some more happens. It's easier to understand that the light source is coming from there, right? I mean, this is a uh, this isn't a good example because I can't really do it with this. Uh, let me use my micron for a sec. Yeah. Okay. Let me just do this. Box. Light source. Coming in. Okay. I'm just doing this on a fucking whim. Okay. Anyway. Right? So now I'm getting backtracked here, but like whatever, I'm gonna show you this. Use this to show that. getting lighter as it's going towards the light source. Maybe add a few more here. Show that it's even lighter closer to the light source and cross the cross hatches over here to show that it's even darker over here. So now you get the point of cross hatches, right? Anyway, sorry for getting backtracked. Back to the original drawing over here, which is, hmm, okay. Filling of space, right? So I'm done with this. What do I do now? Now I maybe draw a boat. Why draw a boat? Hmm, I wonder why. I don't know. This a uh, little boat, right? A little boat, <laughs> little yachty, whatever. Okay. A little boat. The boat is flowing through the through. You could use a scale for this, but if your hands are steady, you can just draw a straight line, right? So the boat's flowing through, let's say, there's a cute little mast on it, right? Wait, is this part called the mast? Okay, yeah, there's a cute little flag on it. The flag is red. Right? Done. Maybe the boat has some sort of lines on it. Great. Let's make this line brown. Let's just make sure we don't ruin our wave here, right? That's what you gotta be careful of. Not ruining other parts of the damn drawing. Okay. Done. Nice. It's satisfying enough. But we're talking about filling up space. So when we were talking about filling up space, there is a lot of space left. And since there's a lot of space left, let's use our handy dandy, <coughs> what's it called? Uh, gray, dark gray, this is dark gray. We're gonna add some um, clouds. Yeah, let's add some clouds. So this is, one way of doing clouds, there are many ways, trust me, so many ways of doing clouds. Because clouds are very abstract. 
clouds don't look one way or another, but this is like a cute way of doing clouds, which goes with the drawing, right? So I'm just trying to fill it up with clouds of different shapes and sizes, mostly the same general idea is to keep the design consistent because if one cloud looks one way and the other looks another way, it doesn't really go with our drawing here. Right? Okay. Nice. Nice and cloudy. But there needs to be some sunshine. Now how do we get some sunshine up in here? By adding a sun. This is why we need the yellow. So, how do we add the sun? Just like this. Right? Maybe it's not completely circular right now, but you can make it circular. What you can do is just keep going on it until you're happy with your circle. Now, fill it up. See, I'm not filling up the cloud part here because it's covering the sun right there, okay? So, now the sun will give out rays. Where did the rays go? The rays are gonna come out of here, go on a straight line. It's gonna go to a straight line over here. On top, going on a straight line. In the bottom, same shit, going on a straight line. Is this a family friendly YouTube channel? I don't know yet, that's why I'm saying shit and fuck so much, but like, yeah, whatever. I don't care, I'm not monetizing the videos anyway. These are just for me to talk to you guys and relax. Anyway, so, whatever. Uh, yeah. Then there's a straight line here. Here and uh, yeah, pretty much. I think we're done with this. I don't know what else to add, so maybe some birds. Are birds gonna ruin this? I don't know. Um, maybe I'll use light gray. To add a few birds here, some seagulls or something, you know, get the BT by then. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Use the red to sign it. And we're done. You know, it's a nice little thingy that we have made. And you should try yourself. Try to fill up space, try to do some line art, try to make something cute. And use, oops, my light just fell. Anyway, <clears throat> use hashtag illustrations in order for me to see it. Um, Instagram maybe, yeah, post it on Instagram, use the hashtag illustrations and I'll see it and I'll maybe review all of your drawings on the next video. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today, I guess. Thank you for joining me and I hope you had fun, I hope it was a nice conversation that we had. Try this, try relaxing with paintings, try just letting it go, you know keeping your mind loose because it's tough times out there and you can't always 
be worried or anxious about everything, right? You gotta just relax sometimes. So yeah, thank you very much for joining me. And I really appreciate it. Thank you. Please like, 